Entanglement is considered one of the most weirdest phenomena in the realm of quantum mechanics that fundamentally distinguishes it from classical physics. Imagine you have two particles, let's call them particle A and particle B. When these particles become entangled, their quantum properties, like spin or polarization, become connected or linked to each other. In classical terms, we might think of two particles as separate entities, each with their own independent properties. But in the quantum realm, particles can become entangled, meaning their properties become intertwined and cannot be described independently. Instead, we need to consider the joint properties of the entire system. Here's an analogy. Imagine you have two gloves, one red and one blue, and you put them into two separate boxes without looking. If you were to open one of the boxes and find a red glove, you would immediately know that the other box contains the blue glove, even without looking inside it. The gloves are entangled in a way that their colors are connected. In the quantum world, entanglement works somewhat similarly, but it's even more peculiar. When two particles become entangled, their properties are connected in a way that if you measure the property of one particle, it instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. The tricky part is that until you actually measure one of the particles, both of them exist in a superposition of all possible states. It's like having a coin that's simultaneously both heads and tails until you flip it and collapse it into one outcome. At that moment, the other particle knows which state the first particle has taken, even if it's light years away. This instantaneous connection is what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. However, even though the particle's properties are connected, you cannot use this connection to send information or messages faster than the speed of light. The mind-boggling part is that when you measure one particle, it's like flipping the coin and forcing it to be either heads or tails. The tricky part is that until you actually measure one of the particles, both of them exist in a superposition of all possible states. The entangled particles don't allow for direct communication because the results of measurements are random and unpredictable until you compare many measurements statistically. So, while entanglement is a remarkable feature of quantum physics that connects particles in a seemingly mysterious way, it doesn't violate the speed limit of light and cannot be used for faster-than-light communication. Imagine you have two particles that are like best friends. When they become entangled, they always know what the other is doing, no matter how far apart they are. It's like they have a secret connection between them. But here's the catch. They can't use this connection to send messages to each other faster than the speed of light. It's like having a secret language that only they understand, but they can't use it to have a conversation because it's limited in how it can be used. So, entanglement is this special connection between particles, but it doesn't allow for super-fast communication. It's more like a mysterious friendship that can't be used to talk across long distances quickly.